Former President Donald Trump continues to go through the back and forth whether or not he's gonna run for president again in 24. Uh, most people only care if they're gonna give him more money, which continues to happen. But enter in someone else that's also popular within the Republican Party, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. Uh, Donald Trump had an interview with Yahoo News, uh, Yahoo Finance over the weekend. And um, he was asked about this possibility of he and his, I guess his apprentice in a way, uh, and other popular member of the Republican Party potentially facing off head to head in a presidential Republican primary. Donald Trump had this to say and you might not be surprised. I, I'm curious, how would I you- mean, I'll give you a couple of others, well, the economy, uh, inflation. How, how would you feel, how would right you, but if you faced border. a Republican like Ron DeSantis in the primaries, how, what would it take for you to beat him? Well, number one, I don't think I will face him. Uh, because I don't see that if I if I did it, I don't see that. I think most people would drop out. I think he would drop out. And if I faced him, I'd beat him like I would beat everyone else, frankly. And uh, you take a look at what's going on in the polls. Take a look what's going on in those polls, he said. Fine, let's take a look what's going on in those polls. Uh, so recent polling does show us a little bit of what's going on. Different ones will show you different things, of course. But um, from Yahoo Finance, of course, they went on to say one recent study in particular uh, raised eyebrows with the finding that DeSantis and Trump were nearly tied. Uh, that looked at the race commissioned by a super PAC of former Trump aide turned vocal Trump critic John Bolton found that Mr. Trump with the support of 26.2% of Republican voters. He was closely followed by DeSantis at 25.2. But in other polls, they've painted a much more flattering picture for Trump, which is what you may expect more from his continued popularity. So an Emerson College poll from early September found that Trump was would be trouncing DeSantis 67% to 10% in an eight person field. That same poll found him narrowly beating President Biden in a hip. Hmm. A hypothetical head to head general election matchup. Likewise, other polls from this summer found DeSantis polling well below Trump, but in the top tier of potential challengers to the former president. So all those things we've seen, um, there's, there's always gonna be these straw polls in different groups and maybe even a group of 1,000 people to 500 people. Polls annoy me if you guys haven't figured that out yet. But the interesting part about this is exactly what we've seen because we've been seeing some of these anti-Trump people, the never Trumpers, the former Republicans that are now, or former Trumpers that are now regular Republicans. They're trying to troll Trump with the thought that Ron DeSantis is the next one. And I was like, that's not really gonna work. He knows better than that, doesn't he? Not to go bite and take that bait. He does not know better because that answer was one of those things that I mentioned it this morning in the meeting when we talked about it. Um, you know, whenever professional athletes first become pros, they get coached up on how to talk to the media because you don't want to say something to give any bulletin board material. You never want to say something's going to get your other opponent fired up against you. So when someone asks you, "How's the other team?" you go, "Oh, they're good. They're fine. It's okay." But when you're on the field or on the court, you go, you say the most horrific things to each other because you're competing. Donald Trump doesn't know how to do that. He has to, his ego won't allow him to just sit back and go, I mean, Ron DeSantis is a great guy. Uh, look, he's doing it in Florida and this and that. And if he runs for president, this and that. He doesn't know how to do it. I'd beat him like he stole something is what he says instead. <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do with people who steal things? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, first of all, I, should I brag about getting this prediction right? I guess, but <laughs> really I guess because this is, not anything that is worth bragging about. Look, of course, we said on the show, at some point, if there's a couple polls that show DeSantis leading, Trump's gonna hit. And it's it must be secretly driving him crazy. And now, as JR has explained, being the unsavvy guy that he is, he just says it, right? No, oh, I beat him, I beat him with a stick, okay? <laughs> I'm thinking of different fantasies and daydreams right now about how I beat him. He didn't say any of that, you heard what he actually <laughs> said, okay. Um, but uh, but it's so unsurprising that it's caused less of a kerfuffle on the internet than the possibility of me and Joe Rogan fighting. <laughs> 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 Everybody knows that if you ask Trump, oh, what do you think, can DeSantis beat you? Like, oh, no way, man, I'll kill him, I'll murder him. It might be literal, I'll have my guys go out there and chain, uh, execute and what, no, hang, <laughs> hang DeSantis, hang DeSantis. Yeah. I don't want any of you doing that, but that is a reference to how when Mike Pence did not try to rig the election in favor of Donald Trump, which he couldn't do anyway, <laughs> Trump supporters chanted hang Mike Pence as he was going in, as they were breaking into the Capitol. And Trump never apologized to Pence. 
So to this day, to this day, so and he knows it. He's verified. He's he, he knows that they were looking to execute Mike Pence as vice president, and he didn't mind because he liked that they were fighting for him. So you think he's going to be gentle to DeSantis? Okay, but it doesn't matter because this is a rare thing that Trump's totally right about. If he runs, none of those guys are stupid enough to run, unless it's, we're looking at a completely different world, right? So if Trump is really sick or he's, you know, in the middle of a serious criminal thing and it's actually hurt his polls, like he could be in prison and still win the Republican <laughs> nomination. I'm saying only if he's charged with a serious crime and it hurts him with Republican voters, which is much harder, right? Uh, then people would run against them. But if we held the hell election today, nobody would be stupid enough, not even DeSantis, to run against Trump. Um, yeah, he would he would bulldoze them. That poll, there's other polls that are similar to it. So it's definitely an outlier. And I don't, it's, but if John Bolton commissioned it, the chance of it being true is very low. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just keep it real, yeah. right? So, but overall, yeah, DeSantis is surging to number two. Why? Because he's mini me. But you're not gonna vote for mini me over Dr. Evil. That's not how it works. <laughs> he said it from the beginning. I mean, Ron DeSantis ran those ads where his kid is building building blocks and build the wall and uh, say MAGA and all that stuff. We know how he branded himself. But the hope was that Donald Trump would get two terms and then he's done and then Ron DeSantis can step in. Or after the loss, they're like maybe Trump would go away. I've always thought that there's this background feeling from a lot of Republicans that are like, man, I will hope I wish Trump will stop talking and let us just use him as this figure, this deity that isn't around anymore, like they did with Ronald Reagan forever. That's this is supposed to be their new Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan can't keep talking and keep talking and keep talking and exposing how bad of a person he was. And the Republicans continue to make him a deity. Donald Trump continues to talk and talk and talk and then say horrible things and then say something else ridiculous and they have to either defend it or go along with it and then it, it's, it's put something else on them. So Ron DeSantis was asked in, I'm sure, multiple cases about whether or not he's gonna do this. He's like, oh my God, I'm not running for president. I'm focused on destroying Florida. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> Which is a smart answer. Ron DeSantis has at least a smart answer. Of course, Ron DeSantis has aspirations to run for president. Every politician that says, oh my God, I'm not gonna run for president as I wander around. Iowa, right around the yeah, time that we yeah, should be. Yeah. They always do it. So it's not like it's along any partisan lines. It's just they know better and they just hope he'd go by so they can go through the normal process. Right now, they have to keep talking about whether or not Trump's going to do it again after he lost. Yeah, if you ever hear any politician, all the way through progressives, not just Democrats, all the way through progressives, that are going to do a couple of speeches in Iowa and tell you they're not running for president, <laughs> okay, they're lying. Okay, I think I'm the only person who's ever done a speech in Iowa and not run for president. <laughs> okay, <Nice>. so <laughs> yeah, good point, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Anyways, so DeSantis and all those guys are going to Iowa. Of course, they're thinking of running, but only if Trump does run, it's my guess. And I love JR's interpretation of DeSantis' answer. I haven't destroyed all of Florida yet. I got a couple of spots left, right? Give me some time here, get out of the way, let me see what I can do. So look, I love the drums, I love the kerfuffle, and I love getting under Trump's skin. But this ain't a real story. DeSantis has got no chance against Trump. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.